Welcome back. Today's topic is usufruct. Usufruct, pronounced usufruct, was an aspect of ancient Roman law. Usu mean use and fruct or fructus means fruit. A usufruct incorporates the two property rights of usus as well as fructus. Usus refers to the right to utilize a property directly without damaging or modifying it. And fructus refers to the right to enjoy the fruits of a property being utilized, in short, usufruct is the legal right to use someone else's property temporarily and to keep any profit made from it. Usufruct is a will or legal contract and the third person who is using the property is called usufructuary. Example, usufructuary holding a property can lease or rent it to earn money or if the property is an agricultural land and sell the crops the land creates. Now why usufruct is created? The reasons can be that the parents wish to donate their lands to their children but use the profits created by the property. If, for instance, a parent owns a tract of land on which there is a mineral lease generating royalty payments, the parent may want to donate the land, but reserve a right of usufruct and thereby continue to receive the royalty payments. Another reason can be let's say John was married to Mary and have Bill and Jenny as kids. John had since divorced Mary, and married Rita. After marriage with Rita, John has a bought a three-storied house as property where, Rita Bill and Jenny stay with him. In this scenario let us assume that John wants Rita to enjoy the property rentals after his death but, wants to give the property to Bill and Jenny, can write a lifetime usufruct making Rita the usufructuary. Rita can enjoy the property rentals till she survives and upon death the property goes to Bill and Jenny as per the percentages in the will. Usufruct can be given for a limited period or for lifetime. A usufructuary will not have full legal ownership of the property. Also, usufructuary is entitled to only use the property, it cannot be damaged, destroyed, or disposed of. The usufruct is famous in countries and states like France, Philippines, Thailand, Cuba, Scotland, U.S. states of Louisiana and Georgia. In France, it is called usufruits. They can be set up in a will for specific assets, or for the entire estate. The French tax system favors usufruit, so there may be tax advantages to creating a lifetime usufruit. There are two types of usufructs. One perfect usufruct, in a perfect usufruct, the usufructuary is entitled the use of the property but cannot substantially change it. And two, the imperfect usufruct where, the usufructuary gets some ability to modify the property. Going ahead, let us now talk about how usufructs end. Usufructs terminates when the last surviving usufructuary dies and the property goes to the legal heirs of the property as written in the will or usufruct contract. Usufructs can be terminated in certain circumstances by judgment of a court. The creator of the usufruct can set a term for the usufruct or the creator may establish that the usufruct is subject to some condition which coming into effect results in termination of the usufruct. To terminate the usufruct, the owners can agree to pay an annuity to the usufructuary. And, lastly, a usufructuary can abandon the right of usufruct by signing an appropriate document to that effect. That's all for today thank you. Hope you all now have a fair idea about usufruct and you may now apply this knowledge to your day-to-day -day work. Have a nice day ahead. Stay tuned.